Dreams are an everyday occurrence. Many dreams never materialize and slip from memory. The dreams of Jennings and Rebecca Jones, however, are manifested in communities across Tennessee. The Joneses' investment of spirit and funding has inspired student learning, resulting in focused planning, effective programs, and community benefits. No one needs to be reminded that production without planning has pitfalls. The mission is clearly stated. The Jennings and Rebecca Jones Chair of Excellence in Urban and Regional Planning produces and disseminates information relevant to the planning needs and issues in the Mid-State region. It encourages dialogue on these important issues among area policymakers, opinion leaders, and the broader community of interest. Our gathering today reflects the mission to bring together leaders from our community and our campus to effect meaningful change in the region. How do we focus our efforts? The Chair of Excellence program works hand in glove with the university's Business and Economic Research Center. Since its establishment in 1970, MTSU's Business and Economic Research Center has conducted research on the regional economy as a public service and on a contract basis for clients. Since his appointment as chairholder, Burke Director Dr. Marat Eric has worked to meld research, community, and educational components to present a nine-month research and engagement program for undergraduate students designed to bring students, faculty, and community members together to address ongoing urban and regional challenges. The Scholars Program covers topics such as sustainability, mobility, livability, and economic development. Academic and industry professionals present current applications through panels and classroom lectures on each of these topics. For example, as affordable housing becomes a more salient topic across the nation, the Scholars Program was able to give students the opportunity to discuss the issue at length with the Tennessee Housing Development Agency Executive Director Ralph Perry. The Scholars Program also recognizes the importance of building a network in one's community prior to graduation. Yes, we want to facilitate industry connections for our scholars as they apply for positions, but more importantly, strong, successful communities need collaboration between respectful partners. This is exactly what we are looking to create through the Scholars Program. Today, we are honored to present several people to lead our discussions. Our MC will be David Plazas, known to you as the Opinion and Engagement Director for the USA Today Network Newsrooms in Tennessee. He serves as an editorial writer, opinion columnist, op-ed editor, and an editorial board member for the Tennessean. First, we will hear from the Dean of the Jones College of Business, Joyce Heems, and then Michael Skipper of the Greater Nashville Regional Council, who additionally serves as the lead facilitator and advisor to the Middle Tennessee Mayor's Caucus. David will then guide the discussion among three mayors, Mayor Ken Moore of Franklin, Joe Pitts of Clarksville, and Paige Brown of Gallatin. Let us begin our discussion. Welcome, David Plazas. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me here at Middle Tennessee State University. I, one of my areas of expertise is growth and development, so I'm so honored to be here to moderate this conversation. But I wanted to start by introducing Dr. Joyce Heems who is the Dean of the Jennings A. Jones College of Business and Professor of Management. She came to MTSU from Berry College in Rome, Georgia, where she served seven years as the Dean of the Campbell School of Business. She holds a BS and MBA from Samford University and earned her PhD from the University of Mississippi. Heems is a member of Beta Gamma Sigma and Phi Kappa Phi. She also serves on the board of the Southern Business Administration Association and is an active Rotarian. Dr. Heem's primary area of research is counterproductive work behavior, but she also explores leadership, conflict resolution, and the history of managerial thought. She has over 35 years of experience in business and education as a trainer, a teacher, facilitator, and college administrator. As a popular speaker and trainer, she has delivered programs on topics such as conflict management, generational gaps in the workplace, the value of diversity, and creating high-performance teams. Let us welcome Dr. Heems.
Welcome, everyone. I'm delighted to be here. You know, this is a special occasion for us. Marat and I were talking earlier that this is the first, the inaugural event, but we hope this is the first of many to come because we're talking about such important topics today. I'm glad we're called today to talk about a forum on growth and challenges in Middle Tennessee. And where better to discuss such topics than growth than in Middle Tennessee, one of the fastest growing areas in the United States. Now, I must admit, I'm part of the problem. I moved here last July. So uh, <laughs> I'm delighted, though. I was asked a few minutes ago how I liked Middle Tennessee. And I have lived across the southeast, from Mississippi to Alabama to Georgia to West Virginia, and I have never felt at home so quickly as I did in moving to Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And so I thank all of those that have welcomed me and let me become a part of this vibrant community. MTSU plays a critical role in human capital formation in counties across the state. In Tennessee, nearly one in every eight holders of a bachelor's degree or higher ed is an MTSU grad. Jones College of Business, and I'm not competitive at all, is the number one producer of business talent in the greater Nashville area. And we're very proud of that. And we continue to make changes in our curriculum to continue to hold that honor. Thank you. According to the latest economic report, the impact of MTSU on business revenue was $1.42 billion. B with a, you know, for billion, not million. We surpassed that. The Jennings and Rebecca Jones Chair of Excellence in Urban and Regional Planning exists to encourage dialogue on the planning needs and issues in the Mid-State region. We know today we will be a unique opportunity for students, faculty, and community stakeholders to come together to learn, connect, and work toward solutions to regional planning problems and challenges. Thank you to our event partner, the uh, Cumberland Region Tomorrow. Cumberland Region Tomorrow works to inspire responsible growth in the 10-county Nashville region area through education, conversation, and collaboration. This fantastic event would not be possible without the event organizers. I'd like to extend a special thank you to Dr. Marat Arak, who has just done a phenomenal job in pulling this together and all of the hard work that he does behind the scenes in pulling people from the community in to meet with our students. Our students are better for their involvement with the Burke Center and really appreciate that. And Andrea is around here someplace. Andrea Lawrence, where is Andrea? She is, was, and I know that um, Marat will attest to this, she is the one that behind that put the tablecloths together and all of the things that make an event like this so warm and inviting, and we appreciate her as well. You know, with having this long title, the Jones College Business and Economic Research Center, we lovingly call the BERC uh, for short, it is a pleasure and a proud moment for me as the Dean of the Jones College to say that it is, it is with us. And I want to welcome our guest. I thank you to David Plaza for your introduction. Uh, he's the Director of Opinion and Engagement at the USA Today Network Tennessean. He's going to serve as our, serving as our moderator. And to our esteemed panelists, the uh, City of Gallatin Mayor Paige Brown, City of Franklin Mayor Dr. Ken Moore, and the City of Clarksville Mayor Joe Pitts. Hopefully everyone will be able to join us. Some of the issues we're talking about today is keeping a couple of them running a little bit late. Uh, as we were talking about, some of the roads were closed this morning. And also our guest speaker, Michael Skipper. We really appreciate it. Thank you all for coming, and please enjoy the event. So I've been in this community for 10 years now. Uh, not quite a native, of course, but I do appreciate uh, everything about the region as a whole, and I know that the Middle Tennessee region cannot exist without joint cooperation. And when I started writing about transportation and housing issues, Michael Skipper and his team decided to give me a lot of homework. They gave me a book this thick to understand transportation plans 25 years down the road, and I read it because it was fantastic and fascinating to understand what is happening. We've just seen the latest census numbers that just came out on Thursday. Every single county in Tennessee in the Middle Tennessee area has grown by at least about 1% to 3%. 
this growth is not stopping. So this is why this conversation is so phenomenal and important today. And thank you, uh, Dean Hims, for uh, being here for your introduction and Dr. Murat Eric. So I want to introduce Michael Skipper now. He has more than 25 years of experience in public policy, community and regional planning and social research. He served nine years as executive director of the Nashville Area MPO before being hired to lead the 80 plus member staff of the Greater Nashville Regional Council in 2016. GNRC serves as the Nashville Area's Metropolitan Planning Organization, Economic Development District, and Area Agency on Aging and Disability. Skipper serves as lead facilitator and advisor to the Middle Tennessee Mayor's Caucus. The Mayor's Caucus was formed in 2009 in order to provide leadership on important issues facing a rapidly changing regional landscape. He received his undergraduate degree in geography from the University of Tennessee at Knoxville and a Master of Science in Community and Regional Planning from the University of Texas. Recent honors include the Nashville Emerging Leaders Award for Government and Public Affairs, Tennessee Planner of the Year, the National Award for Outstanding Individual Leadership, and the Transportation Planning Excellence Award. Let's welcome Michael Skipper to the stage. Thank you. 